Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. So in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for the Porsche 911 991. Now the 991 was produced between 2012 and 2019. Uh, 2019 was more so some of the special models like the Speedster. Um, but there are five tools here that we think that will probably be of use to any enthusiast or any owner who owns a Porsche 991. And we'll start with the cheapest and we'll work our way through to the most expensive. Now, I'll pop the links to all of these kits in the description below this video. And also what I'll do is, I'll give you my personal recommendation as if I was gonna buy one of these tools with my personal money. So this is my personal Porsche 991 Carrera S behind us here. Um, so if it was my money, I'll tell you which tool I, was, I would personally buy at the end of the video, okay? Uh, so we'll start with the iCarsoft POR version 1.0. So this is the cheapest tool currently on the market uh, at Diagnostic World at 99 pounds. Like I say, link in the description. now. This tool is good if you're looking to diagnose like the main system, so your engines, your airbags, your ABS, your PSM or your transmission systems. If you've got faults in those systems or like the power steering, air conditioning, or even if you've got a convertible, the roof system. Um, those are classes like all system scan tools and that's what this is. Um, it also has the ability to cover the oil service reset function. So if you're getting a message which says like, um, oil service maintenance due for reset, this will allow you to do that reset on that vehicle as well. Um, it is limited because that is literally all it can do. But if that's all you need to do, then that's absolutely fine, okay? So that's the POR version 1.0. We then come to the POR version 2.0. Now this is a step up from this tool. So this tool here can do everything that this tool can do plus more. It looks a little bit different. It's got a little bit better software in it, but it does cost a little bit more. So this is 149 pounds. Um, now obviously this does everything that this tool will do, but additional functions, I've got a list here. So this will also allow you to do ABS brake bleeding, uh, new battery registration, electronic parking brake calibration and reset, electronic throttle control calibration, oil service reset, and steering angle sensor control uh, reset and calibration. So it does offer a few more service functions than this tool, um, but it all really depends on whether you would use those service functions or not. So. If you do, then I'd recommend this one over this tool here. But don't stop there because we then come to the POR version 3.0 tool. Now this tool, as you probably guessed, can do everything that these tools can do. It'll do over and above these tools. This tool though has two standout features, okay? It does cover newer models as well. So like for example, if you are thinking about upgrading to a 992 or a Taycan, something like that, this tool will be able to do that, these tools won't, okay? And not only that, but this has two features on it which I think are extremely important for 911, 991 owners. So the first thing is the fact that you can check the genuine mileage of the tool, of the vehicle. So it has a built-in function to read the data from the ECU of the vehicle, which will read you the genuine mileage that the ECU has logged for this vehicle having traveled, okay? Now, if somebody was to try and scam you, if somebody was to have previously changed the mileage on this vehicle, then they'll generally change the mileage on the Speedo cluster, okay? And they won't change it on the ECU. This tool, this vehicle, sorry, this tool reads the mileage from the ECU. So it's very important if you are maybe thinking about buying one of these vehicles that you've got this tool with you to check that information. Uh, the second reason why this is a really good tool is that the this has bi-directional controls, okay? So it allows you to test components, test specific motors, if you've got a fault within a, a certain area of the vehicle. So say for example, you've got a faulty window, one of the windows won't go down. This tool will allow you to individually test the switch on the door, or also switch the, uh, sorry, test the motor from the window. So, it, it, you know, these two, some of these tools here might only say there's a problem with the window and it'll give you a fault code. This tool can test them and actually pop the windows up and down so it'll tell you whether the motor's working or not or whether the switch is working or not, okay? So that's a really good feature and it's about to say, that's a bi-directional tool um, and that is 169 pounds. All right, so it costs more, but it, I feel it does a lot more in terms of coverage and functionality as well, okay? We then come to the CR Pro Kit, which is 
this kit it has the same level of software as the version 2.0, but this obviously covers new uh, sort of, well not new, sorry, other makes and models. So, you know, a lot of these 911 owners, they have other cars in their family, their friendship circles like Audis, BMWs, uh, Volvos, Mercedes, Seat, Skoda, Fords, you name it. So if you were maybe thinking about covering your other vehicles as well, and you're happy with the level of functionality and software on the version 2.0, then the CR Pro kit may well be the option for you. Now, if you have, so this kit is 259 pounds. It does cover more vehicles, vehicles, so it is gonna cost a bit more. Now, if you had other makes and models, but you like the functionality of the version 3.0, then this is where the CR Max com kit comes in. So this kit, £359, but this is more of a tablet-based kit. I'm not sure if the screen is on there. Um, this is a tablet-based kit, so it's very easy to use. It's like a one sort of touch screen. Updates are all done on screen. Updates are free for all of these tools for life, by the way. Um, so yeah, the CR Max kit covers a huge range of manufacturers. It covers more manufacturers than this. And when I say more, it's kind of like some of the things that this tool won't cover, like uh, Ferrari, Maserati, um, Lamborghini, some of the newer models. So if you're lucky enough to own those as well, then the CR Max will cover those. But um, the, the, the software wise, the CR Max is the same as the version three. The CR Pro is the same as the version two, all right? Now I said at the start of the video, I would uh, recommend which tool I would personally buy if it was my money and my, me personally buying one of these tools. Uh, and the straight answer is there's two kits that I would definitely look at. The version 3.0, POR version 3.0 is a fantastic tool. And I feel it just gives you that step up in functionality, coverage, and ability to find certain faults, go deeper into diagnostics for not a lot of money more than this. It's like 20 pound more than this one. So I think if you're thinking about buying this one and you've got a nine name one, you, I'm not saying you need to be putting the 20 pounds in and buying this one, but I would just, I don't see why you wouldn't because you get so much more from this tool for that extra 20 pounds, okay? And then if like as a personal, on a personal note uh, for daily drivers, so we've got an Audi, we've got a VW in our family. So I'd be looking at the CR Max if it came to a tool that I could use on the other vehicles as well. Um, CR Max is so easy to use. It just plugs in and it's like one touch system. It also doubles up as a tablet, well, it is a tablet. So it doubles up so you can also be surfing the internet on there. You can download apps on there, play games. So you could be diagnosing vehicles through the day and you could be playing games of a night time. Most people do have phones and things like that that they can do that in any case, but it's handy in case you need that, in case you wish to have that as well, all right? Um, so like I say, all of these kits, I'll put the links in the description below this video. Um, I'll also put the email address in that description as well. So if you do have a specific question and you wanna double check that any of these tools are suitable for your make or model or your other vehicles as well, then by all means use that email address and we'll take a look at that. Uh, it's best if you can include your make, your model, uh, the model year as well, and what you're looking to get out of the tool. So what you need the tool to do on that specific vehicle. Um, it always helps, but maybe it's not always necessary. It always helps if you can put the VIN number in as well. So if you're looking to, if, you, if you're looking to find out one of the special functions or the service functions, always put your VIN number in. If you only just want to find out if any of these tools will do an airbag light on your car, then we, we can check that. It's no problem, right? Uh, but links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope this helps.